Hey everyone, it's Siobhan with this year's Valentine's tutorial offering. I wanted this look to be a little bit sexy and sultry, but still incorporate very girly elements, keeping it very pretty with pink cheeks and lips. So if you want to see how I did this, keep watching the tutorial. So always start off your makeup by applying a lip balm, making sure that they're nice and soft by the time you get to your lips later on, and curl your lashes if you feel like you need to. This is a great trick for opening up the eyes. So for foundation, choose one that has medium coverage and gives a nice semi-matte radiant finish. Then apply this where needed and remember, there's nothing sexy about a mask foundation. Make sure you can see a little bit of your skin coming through. We can use concealer on any blemishes or spots you want to hide. Next, apply a brightening or highlighting eye primer around the entire eye area. Sometimes I feel that these can be a little bit harsh when applied over concealer, so it's good to apply them at this stage before you apply your concealer. Then use a synthetic brush or your fingers or both and blend this in with the rest of your skin. This works really well as a subtle highlight to your brow bone and cheekbones as well. Then to correct the darkest tones underneath your eye, you need to apply something with a little bit more color to it. Yellow will correct purple tones and peachy oranges will correct blue tones. And if it's just general brightening you're after, then pink tones are the ones to go for. Then moving on to the eyes, apply a creamy base in like a brownie or gold color and focus this mainly on the center of the lids. Next, pick a shimmery pigment or glitter of your choosing and apply this to the center of the lids only. This will really make the eyes pop later on when you have the rest of the makeup done. Next, using a blending brush and a shimmery brown or bronzy shade of eyeshadow, apply this to the inner corners and the outer corners of your lids, blending it lightly in with the glitter or the pigment on the center of the eye. And once this is done, use whatever is left on the brush to blend up over the crease and make sure it's nice and soft on the way up to the eyebrow. Next, pick up some of the same color on the very, very tip of your blending brush. If you're more comfortable going with a smaller brush, do, and then apply some of this to the under eye area, making sure not to bring it down too far. Then choose a slightly deeper shade of bronze and apply this to the outer V of your upper lid and a little bit into the crease and use this to deepen the crease. Blend out with your blending brush as usual and make sure that the edges are totally smoked out. You need to move on to a cleaner blending brush if this brush gets too dirty. Otherwise, just wipe it off on a bit of tissue and blend around the edges. Then to brighten up the whole eye look, you want to apply a little bit of a highlighter to your brow bone and especially to the inner corners of your eyes if you have a high nose bridge as we tend to have dark shadows there and this will really brighten everything up. To keep the look delicate, you want to make sure the eyeliner is really, really thin. So just draw a very thin, delicate line along your lash line and draw the smallest little flick at the end. Don't feel like you need to go easy on your lashes though. So I've used a volumizing mascara and a blackening mascara as well. This new one is from Max Factor. So one half will really give you the volume and the body you want, and then flip over to the other side to get the lovely dark, really carbon black lashes that stand out. When you're finished with your eye makeup, clean up under the eye to make sure that no fallout is muddying up the look of your skin and then apply concealer where needed onto any blemishes. And again, use your brush or finger or both to blend and pat this into place.
Even if you're on the dry side, still apply a little bit of powder to your base to set everything in place. You don't want your foundation to transfer onto your clothes or onto your hands if you touch your face throughout the evening. So pat this lightly over your base to make sure it doesn't move throughout the evening. Once the base is done, then you can move on to your eyebrows. I like to leave the eyebrows to this stage because you tend to cover your hairs in foundation and powder. And now you can go over and cover all that and make sure that the eyebrows are nice and rich and brown rather than gray. If you have thicker hairs or even longer hairs in your brows, set them in place with a clear gel just to make sure that they stay where you want them to stay. At this stage, I like to pat off any excess lip conditioner and apply my lip primer. Lip primer works best when you give it a couple of minutes or even a minute to settle onto the lips and to kind of set a little bit so it's tacky by the time you get to the lipstick stage. Next, choose a contour powder that suits your skin tone and apply this into the areas of the face where you feel you need a little bit more shape. So I like to apply it underneath my cheekbones, sometimes around my jaw area, and I always contour around the tip of my nose as well. I like to soften the shading around my nose by applying some more of my face powder over the contour powder so it doesn't look too obvious or too harsh. And then for blusher, apply a cool pink with a little bit of a luster finish or shimmer finish to it, just to give a nice lift to the skin. If you have a lot of texture in your face though, apply a matte blusher and then you can apply a highlighter to the top cheekbones or the top of your cheekbones then to give a nice lift to the skin. Next, apply a lip pencil in a pink shade of your choosing. I went for this dusky rose color because I didn't want it to be too bright or too candy pink. And apply this to your entire lip and then perfect the outline once you have it filled in. And then pick a pink of your choosing as well and apply this to the entire lip. You may need to use a lip brush to perfect the outline. And then for gloss, I don't like to apply too much as it tends to eat at your lipstick. So apply a little bit of gloss just to the very center of the lips to make the lip pop. And that finishes off the look. So I hope you like this guys. Have a lovely Valentine's Day and take it easy. I'll chat to y'all really soon. Slán.